In Activity 1, Observing Weather, students discuss weather and its effect on their lives. They first observe, describe, and record the weather using words and pictures. Then students discuss how weather affects everyday life. And finally, they discover that weather changes from day to day and varies from place to place. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 1, a calendar sheet, the laminated United States outline map, assorted colored erasable markers, and masking tape. You will also need to provide crayons or colored pencils and a national weather page. To prepare for session one, make a copy of activity sheet one for each student and hang the first monthly calendar sheet in a convenient location for recording daily weather conditions. To begin session one, Look around the classroom and comment on some of the clothing that children are wearing. Ask students, how did you decide what to wear to school today? Steer the discussion toward clothing choices based on weather. Then ask, did you wear anything especially because of today's weather? Students may mention short-sleeved shirts, raincoats, hats, coats, and so forth. Then inform the class that they will be going outdoors to observe the weather. Explain that when we observe, we use our senses to learn what something is like. Discuss the five senses. Seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, and touching. Ask students, what senses can we use to observe what the weather is like today? Students may mention seeing clouds or sunshine, hearing wind or rain, feeling warm or cold, or touching rain. Take the students outside and have them describe the weather today. Encourage them to use sense words such as sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, warm, and cold. Back in the classroom, list these and other weather words. Explain that weather is what the air outside is like at a certain place in time. Define air as a mix of gases that surrounds Earth. Although we cannot see air, we know it is there because we can feel it when it blows and see it as it moves flags and leaves. Guide students to understand that weather includes how hot or cold the air is, how the air moves as wind, and what the air carries in the sky, such as clouds, rain, and snow. Next, bring students' attention to the calendar sheet and ask the class to identify the current month and year and write them on the calendar. Instruct the class to identify the current day of the week and invite a student to record today's weather in that square using a weather word or picture. Inform the class that they will record weather every day and take turns observing and recording the weather on the calendar each day throughout the year. Save the calendar sheets for each month so that you can display them in sequence and compare weather in different seasons. To conclude session one, Distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 1 to each student and instruct students to observe the weather each day for the next five days and record their observations on the Activity Sheet. To prepare for Session 2, you will need a National Weather Page, the Laminated Outline Map of the United States, and Erasable Markers. To begin Session 2 on the fifth day, have students retrieve and complete their Activity Sheets. Ask students, what did you notice about the weather this past week? Accept all reasonable answers and guide students to understand that the weather changes from day to day. Then ask students, do we know for certain what the weather will be like tomorrow or the next day? Students should realize that although they may watch a weather report on TV, in general, we cannot predict the weather. Explain that scientists who observe and measure weather are called meteorologists. Meteorologists make forecasts, which are predictions about future weather. Discuss with students why forecasts and meteorologists are important. For example, if students know it will rain, they know that they cannot play outside and will need to wear a raincoat to school. Then ask students, do you think today's weather is the same everywhere? Some students may know that weather is different in different places. Display the outline map of the United States 
and work as a class to locate your state on the map. Use an erasable marker to label it and mark the approximate location of your community. Invite a volunteer to record today's weather on the map near where you live. Then, show students the national weather page and give examples that show the variety of weather that occurs in the United States every day. Students should understand that weather is different in different places all over the world. Finally, inform the class that in the next activity, What Can We See in the Sky? They will learn more about weather and the sky. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.